Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to carry when all your lands are losing. For consistency in ganks, carry potential, and carrying when all your lands are losing, Xin Zhao is definitely the best jungler for it. We're probably also gonna to have to pick up some heal cut because the self heals, the Samir self heals, and the Soraka heals. Plus, Kali is a bit of a self healer herself. We're gonna be focusing on abusing the enemy jungler who cannot solo us. A uh, Master Yi can certainly not solo a level three Xin Zhao with double buffs. It's just not gonna happen because the, the mass the Master Yi doesn't have any hard CC and Zin Zhao does. Wow, this is like the April Fool's thing. Whenever you base or respawn it, does weird stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna look to be very aggro with him. He's most likely gonna start bot side full clear. Usually the weaker jungler full clear is like an Evelyn, Karthus, Master Yi, Kane. Junglers who struggle to gank tend to have to uh, full clear. So most likely he'll start there. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll go ahead and start E. There is actually a bug with Titanic Hydra and Black Cleaver. We'll see if we can abuse that. I don't know if they patched it, where I believe if you bought Titanic first, then got Black Cleaver, each auto attack would apply two stacks of Black Cleaver rather than just one. So we'll try that out this game. We can go, uh, we could go Gore Drinker this game realistically. That'd be best. Gore Drinker or Divine would be really good. I've seen very good things out of Divine lately on a array of champions. And then we'll go Titanic into Black Cleaver. I, I might just gank top early here. This Jace is pooping the bed early. It's a little surprising because he has like a 70% win rate. We'll just rush up really early. Top laners don't expect you to get ganked before two minute 30. It's very unusual. I'm gonna ghost early, we need to get on him. Auto attack Q reset. Uh, I don't think Nasus has the TP, so I think we should stay. I wanna soak XP for level three. Also, this way Jace can get some more gold before he resets. The goal is to not steal his last hits if possible though. With that being said, I think he missed a lot of them. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look for Master Yi now. He should be finishing up his red buff. Yeah, I knew to push. I knew we needed to. Oh, he's not here yet. That is very peculiar. Where is he? So he did some kind of weird late star or a weird invade. We should be able to kill him. I don't know if he used flash. Yo, he used flash. This guy's kind of doomed then. We'll just wait for him right here. We'll wait right here to see if he goes for scuttle. He likely won't. We'll just go wait on his red buff. Auto attack Q reset him. I think I just heard his Q through the fog. We'll hit him with a W when he comes in to walk into the bush. We have smite. He just burned his E. We'll hit him with a W. Auto attack Q reset. He just wasted his flash. He's doomed. I have to cut down tight here because Nasus. All right, we'll look for top scuttle. Then we'll look to get bot scuttle. Scuttles aren't nearly as important as they used to be. They're still very valuable. To where if you can take them, keep them away from the enemies, it gives your team that extra vision that they need to not die from ganks. He does have bot prio. I am pretty big though full hp and whatnot yeah, i think this is a gore drinker game they have double melee they have triple melee so yeah probably just gore drink the more melees they have the much higher value you get from gore drinker samira's kind of big she's not using her potions though so she's missing a lot of health we're gonna get, land our knockup before we use our w Oh, they have hill. That's not good. Yeah. They, they had so much there. I'm gonna use my slow. I think Poppy should be fine. Might be able to kite this out. Only thing I'm worried about is the Master Yi Hellblade resets. 
once that comes back up, he could put out some decent damage. We'll look for a reset. We're sitting on a lot of gold. I doubt he's going to invade. He doesn't have red buff. Even if he has I am advantage, I think I can still kill him right now at Lethal Tempo. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just pick up this and we'll head out, get boots. We don't, as a jungler, you usually want to get an early pair of boots, not at the cost of your damage output. So if we have to choose between a long sword and a pair of boots, we're obviously going to pick boots. Because we got uh, Iron Spike Whip. I've been back and forth on whether it's better to get Caulfield's first or Iron Spike. Iron Spike does give more damage because it's an auto resetter and five more AD. So I don't know. You could go either one. I think Iron Spike might be slightly better for ganks. Since the ability haste doesn't really help you in the gank. This guy is going to have R. He doesn't have items though. Got the knock of the slow auto attack iron spike whip reset when you're gonna help him push because he's low on health and mana we want him to be able to get back spend his items as fast as possible and we'll share in the plates because he's low he can't overstay here anyways i guess he doesn't want to share it it's a little surprising i'm pretty sure after i, I hit it once i still get the uh the plate shares the thing even if i autoed it just once and i walked away i still get it as long as he got the plate within like 10 or 15 seconds our level six isn't really delayed since we've been soaking minions that's really good because we're getting a lot of pressure for our team a lot of pressure on the enemy jungler all simultaneously we're not falling behind if you refuse to push in waves after successful ganks you'll find yourself in situations where you're just falling behind Playing Nasus with unsealed spellbooks actually a very high elo Nasus thing to do. I think it's really bad though if you're not playing it in Challenger. If you're playing it outside of Challenger, you lose too much carry potential. It's a slower style play style in my opinion. I, I think just having like Flash Ghost or TP Flash would be better. Missing out on a uh, Phase Rush, for example. If you had Phase Rush and a lot of these ganks, he would have lived. There are also Nasus players who look for Conqueror instead, which I think works just fine too. That's best versus melee heavy comps, which our comp is. Our bot side's definitely open to an invade right now. I'll just assume that's gone. Eh, she's annoying. I'm gonna mute. She's bad. I came bot and it was like, we did everything right, but since my bot lane was losing so hard solo, it wasn't a kill when it should have been. So I don't I don't like getting nagged by my laners, especially when they're underperforming. It's annoying. When we're ahead, the last thing we want to do is waste time on bad ganks when we could get lots of value elsewhere on the map. Like like look, they're full HP. Almost dead. It's like that's a bad gank. And it's for those of you, the few of you who are like, oh, you're being toxic. I'm not. I didn't type that to them. Like, they didn't, they can't hear me. <laughs> it's not toxic. It's just the truth. We'll come up behind. It's Rocketeer 2s. I don't have R. It's still probably doable. He won't be here because his red just came up. We need to get on Soraka. Oh. Holy crap, that was way too close. I think we could grab Scuttle here, most likely. Nice thing about the Lethal Tempo, we can apply our Black Cleaver super quickly. You made a mistake. You should have heavy pushed into my jungle after they saw me topside. You shouldn't have done. Looks like he just cleared his own bot side instead of pushing into my bot side. He could have gotten so much value for his team. I am going to reset here. Because we are sitting on full item. Stride Break is an okay option on Zen, just not as good as Gore. Shield Bow isn't quite worth it on Zen Jungle anymore. I'm wait, what did I just say? Yes, Shield Bow isn't quite worth it on Zen anymore because it's been nerfed. The only mythics worth it on Zen right now, I believe, to be Gore Drinker. Kind of Eclipse, but not really. I would just say Gore Drinker in Divine. And kind of Kraken. If you're just want to have max damage and you don't really care that much. About the practicality of it. 
Kraken Zinzo does hit different. It's really hard. We need to start getting objectives. Just Jace is reacting so abysmally slow. He's just dead. I had a control word over here. I don't think this is warded. Yeah, he, his reaction time was just so bad. I pinged it out. And he just didn't react. This will be an interesting game with Fed Nasus. We could have Artem into turret potentially. All right, we have, we have max out lethal tempo. This guy's doomed. Auto attack, R reset. He's very fed though. Holy crap, he chunks, man. He actually chunks. I gotta get Harold here. We're certainly gonna lose this game late game just because comp diff and player skill diff. So we need to. <laughs> this pours in, dude. Nah. <laughs> I'm having fun. I muted my bot lane so I don't have to see what they're saying. They're just solo losing lane. They lose half health and then they like blame me that they've lost half their health. Like I can't help you. <laughs> if you if you lose too much HP, you're unhelpable, man. I've come and then we'll just all die. Nasus is really scary though. It's getting ridiculously strong. He almost soloed me and I had item advantage too. I had item advantage and keystone advantage. Lethal tempo, all he has is his crappy unsealed poop book. And the, the, our bot lane just lost first turret. Holy moly. The knock up in the gore drinker. We're going to take top turret first, even though it's a Nasus, I have nowhere else to go. Their bot lane's rotating mid, I can't even go there and lay it. Like, what is this? I'm going to save my R for Nasus. Saved R, pushed him off. He looks like he has ghosts, though. We need to crash this. Looks like Poppy's going mid now. She's the new mid laner. Nasus doesn't have R. I don't think you should have slapped him away like that. Samira's pretty big. She's still not full item though. She's killable. Need to focus Raka. Rocky heals are insane. It's like half Samira's health. Like they're still not focusing Raka. <laughs> you gotta focus Raka. Knock up into W, that way we can't miss it, and then we miss it anyways. Kali gets the shutdown, that kinda sucks. I might have thrown a little bit there. Master G had as many items as me because I haven't spent my gold. Looking at their team, they're very physical damage heavy. They're only magic damage, Soraka, Kali. And Kali didn't go to Sork Shoes, so if we don't build magic resist, it's not that big of a deal. We can get by. Uh, I really did want to go like Titanic, then Cleaver. I just can't. They got too far ahead. I gotta get heal cut off the Thorn Mill now. Otherwise, we're gonna lose. They got first Dragon. Probably won't like if it goes to the point where it's Draxel we'll lose anyways even if we get Draxel because their scaling is better So we need to uh, just get second Herald end the game break their whole base with second Herald essentially I Gotta go mid right now I'll just smite this Please let me smite it. Please. Thank you We don't have tier 2 boots. It's whatever Jace definitely, I think she should have done that. Oh, Master, you done messed up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, they messed up on that one. 
Got him. We landed our W so we could then use our E delayed period of time. Break the turret. Yeah, this is huge. We're using our tempo. Getting very high value as a team now. But Zin's out such a strong champion. His early game good, his mid game good, his late game's decent. And like these type of fights, he absolutely dominates. We need to get out. I'm doing a few on my way pings away from the situation. I'm not blaming teammates and pinging them directly because that just ticks people off really hard and they'll mute you. So you still want to communicate, but without targeting them, you have to communicate in a less targeted, more neutral way. Uh, I think this is a bad fight. That was a really bad fight because their whole team was there. Now Poppy's trying to quit because she feels like we hung her out to dry. There's four of them there, and we didn't even get to spend our gold, and now we're going to miss Dragon because of that play. Plus, I burned my ghost, which kind of sucks. Looks like Jace already got red buff. That let's me get this one. I think now we get the plated and pick up a Titanic or Black Cleaver. I'm feeling the Titanic first. I want to see if that bug is still in the game where you apply the Black Cleaver application twice. It's really, really cool if it's still in the game. I feel like it should just be that way. The Titanic should apply one and your auto attack should apply one. So you can apply two at once. So you can get up to the six super fast. It's like three autos and you're there. Not how it works though. There's one bot, one top. Master Yi isn't too full item yet, so he's not that scary. Very killable. Not the best plant on my part. This Samir is really greedy. I mean, I have Thorn Melt. Maybe I need to focus Soraka though. Yeah, I messed up. I should have focused Soraka. That's my bad. I almost just threw shut down. I made the classic mistake if I just attacked the person in front. If I would have focused Soraka, that would have gone so much better. Need to hit her with W. It's just Nasus and Akali. They lose inhib here. They're not gonna lose top inhib though. We use our E attack speed bonus here off the minions. We're gonna I'm gonna ping some side things so my teammates don't feel like they have to keep going forward. We can take camps, we can take neutral scuttles. We're in the driver's seat right now. We just gotta stay in the car. He's really going for this. I don't want to fight this. It's a bad fight since we can't get to Soraka properly in, in that type of environment. To where uh, we're not going to be able to kill Yi efficiently. Moonstone Renewer is just brain dead OP. I don't think Soraka has been playing well at all this game. But it's already done bonus healing and shielding of... 2,400. That's more value than my Gore Drinker's given me, and I'm way more fed than she is, and she's not playing particularly well. It's not to rip on Soraka. What I'm getting on about is the fact that Moonstone Reno is just way overpowered, even if you're not playing well. It's inherently giving more stats than someone who's very fed and playing much better. Uh, that's why we need to focus her and kill her first. Items cracked absolutely broken and once he hits two full items this game's gonna get ridiculously hard do we did we not get second herald i don't even remember now i don't think we i don't think we did nasus is at 343 that's actually not that much for how late we are in the game 
Oh, I mute. Yeah, the bot lane. I have them muted. I'm like, who's Jace typing to? It's obviously typing to the bot lane. Got the knockup, Gore Drinker. He's not that tanky. All he has is plated and some HP from Divine. I'm so tempted to jump in on this. I'm gonna go for Soraka. <laughs> gonna knock Samir away or try to at least. I hope Jace can finish that. That's good. He needs to hit the minions. Oh, that went so bad. That was so, so bad for our team. I don't know what was happening bot side. I don't know if they're fighting somebody. Maybe they're fighting Yi. But that, that fight actually went really, really bad. We took so much damage from Samira. Ooh, that was so bad because we didn't get any objectives and as a team we just got annihilated Well three verse five got like annihilated. <laughs> I don't think he was there. You can't do that much at this point Samira absolutely chunks She's got a bunch of armor penetration we also didn't knock her back with our R, so she got off of like a full R channel. Wait, they got catch up gold from that? That's insane. They're practically winning. Prize would give them catch up gold. Someone's out of position. That's so. Oof. That missed? What? Dude, that was right on her. That makes no sense. That's a lot of knockups from our team. That was huge from Poppy. Poppy gave a lot of value there. She landed like a five man R. That was huge. Now we're huge. This is like a weird April Fool's thing. Whoever gets the most kills or something, you turn big, which isn't, I don't even think, an advantage in any way. Just makes it easier for them to hit you. Akali had to clear waves. If she didn't, they would have lost a base turret. It's already half health and she was there too. We can't stay. They're all respawning. Titanic's gonna feel really nice with how compact these fights are. Yeah, they're looking. I want Sorak is what I want. A whip her out of that. Down she goes. My R came up late. Knock up in a W. Is that Quadra? That should be my. Oh, wait, he got the kill. I'm going mid in him. This is stupid. I hate chasing broken champs like a Kali. They just need one more dragon for Drag Soul. I don't think I can get this after all. She's unchaseable. She's just, it's like chasing LeBlanc. She just speeds up over and over and over and over. It's really, really lame. I need to spend my gold. We'll grab Titanic. We'll be absurdly strong. Grab a huge chunk of cleaver. I'll also grab an elixir because this is probably the last fight of the game. Whoever wins this is gonna end. Poppy's going in really deep and hard. Jace goes in, finishes it off. Master Yi. This is the problem when you build Master Yi like this when you're behind. If you're behind on Yi, you can't rush crack and rage blade. It doesn't work. You're so squishy, they kill you in two they kill you faster than you can even do half their health. We 
We're at a whopping 3k HP. We should be able to get at least mid inhib, I think. If not, just team fight and end with our Baron buff advantage, elixir advantage. Shrock Rats come take Putrefire. Fire. We need to get on her. I'll use my ghost for that. See if we can find a uh, a crutch in her. Oh, we got her flash at least. Yep. That's all we needed. Just run down Soraka. What are they going to do? Stop me? The answer is no, because we're Zin Pal. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this jungle guide on how to carry when all your lands are losing. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we're nearly tied with Jace. We had the second most in the game. Very happy with that. For damage taken, taking the most in the game. Very happy with that. And this is what our runes did. Very high value out of lethal tempo, triumph, coup de grace, and revitalize. And we've got three honors. Cool.